The Manganels have advanced to the Please Don't Delete Me age. There used to be tricks where deleting a Manganel would make it inflict extra damage. High level players even used them to pull off epic siege onager shots. But now, these bugs are being addressed. So let's place down some Manganels, start throwing rocks, and examine what exactly is changed. In the past, the game discarded a projectile's elevation difference if the unit that shot it was destroyed. But now, to the diligent developer's delight, devilishly deleting downhill mangonels doesn't destroy dainty uphill mangonels. This could end up being a decently significant balance change, as now it becomes much more difficult to push uphill against Siege, with the high ground player more easily able to obi wan their way to a 1-0 trade. And this change applies for all ranged units, an archer no longer has a dying shot that forgets whether it has a hill bonus or penalty. Next, we'll check the splash damage. When a mangonel simply attacks, the splash damage tapers off starting immediately from the point of impact. But in the past, when a mangonel was deleted, all units within half the blast radius took full damage. Now, this is fixed. When we shoot with a mangonel, only the directly hit center archer tanks 100% of the shot. The HP loss begins tapering off immediately. Splash damage finally is consistent between mangonels both living and dead. No longer will it be beneficial to press delete after shooting at a group of crossbowmen. And finally, we have one more change. If a sea janitor had been deleted while its rocks were in the air, it would destroy trees but leave the felled trees on the ground, just like if a villager had chopped them. But after the patch, the shot removes trees completely. Units may pass through the blast area instead of remaining trapped behind the non-removed wood. Related to that, there's another bug that hasn't been changed. Ballista elephants can attack standing trees to cut them, but they cannot attack felled trees. This can make it tricky to cut through in some situations, and it would be nice to see this fixed. Moving on, there is also a change to the Rathas. This chariot is the new Bengali unique unit that can switch between ranged and melee attacks. Switching from range to melee mode while the arrows were in the air had made them inflict melee damage upon impact, but now this is being fixed and the Rathas will have to get up close and personal if they want to deal with rams or ram elephants. And for completeness, there used to be a bug where a trebuchet could shoot, but then dealt only one damage if it packed fully before the shot landed. This bug was fixed for the definitive edition, and it hasn't been present for some time now. Oh, and for one last shout out, Age of Empires 1 actually has an intended form of delete micro. There's a technology at the temple called Martyrdom, that makes priests get instant conversions if they're deleted while chanting Wooloo. It really makes you wonder how many community managers have been sacrificed to post Wooloo memes over the years. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.